Scott, welcome to my game room. I'm going to teach you how to open that on your Windows 10 PC for your Windows 10 Xbox app and Xbox Play Anywhere games. All you got to do is follow these simple instructions, which I have listed here. First thing you're going to want to do is reboot your router. Walk over to your router, turn it off, and leave it off for at least two minutes, and then turn it back on. That will give you the best chance of this process working right out of the gate. Next thing, when you come back to your computer and you sit down, you're going to come over to your search menu, and you're going to type in CMD. You're going to find your command prompt app. You're going to right-click it, and you're going to run it as administrator. Once you have done that, you're going to type in the following commands that I have listed here. N-E-T-S-H followed by the enter key, I-N-T followed by the enter key, T-E-R-E-D-O, enter again, set, state, client port, equals. Once you have done that, you're going to type in one of these port numbers. Make note, if you have an Xbox in your house, one of these ports could already be taken by an Xbox. That's why there is a different list of numbers here. So if you have an Xbox 360 in your house and it's already been connected to the internet, it will always take port 3074. If you have an Xbox One type of console, whether it's a One or a One S or X or any of the other Xbox One types, it can take 3074 as its default port and then move on to the next one. So if you have multiple Xboxes in your house, multiples of these ports may be taken, so you may need to try a couple. If you don't have any Xboxes in your house then 3074 should work right out the gate if none of those work for whatever reason you can type in the equals default that is here at the very bottom now all that is doing is putting another random port back into windows windows chooses a random port at will and sometimes even after an update can change that port which will in return confuse your router and close off NAT. that's normally what happens so if you use one of these ports you know that it is one of these ports that is going to open xbox live and if all else fails with your upnp table on your router you can always use one of these ports on the windows 10 side and then port forward on your router guaranteeing open NAT for your windows 10 pc once you have typed in all of these commands you reboot everything so you've done your number you click enter turn off your computer leave it off for a couple minutes turn off your router and maybe even your modem shouldn't need to turn off your modem but at least your router leave it off for a couple minutes again and then turn it back on and then you can double check by coming down to your menu down here you're going to click it and you're going to click all settings and then you're going to click gaming and then you're going to click xbox network now there is a bug that has been in windows 10 for a long time even if you have open NAT, sometimes it will give you a false reading. Oh, look, I've got a latency reading. I got a packet loss reading. Wait, Toredo is unable to qualify. Server connectivity is connected. Now, sometimes it'll say Toredo is unable to qualify and server connectivity blocked. All you have to do to double check that this is working properly is click the check again button. Make note that if you exit out of the app here and you come back to it, it may give you another false reading. So as you can see, I've clicked the check again button and I now have open and connected. This is the same way it can happen on the Xbox app itself. If you can go click on it and it'll say, oh no, you have, you know, Toreto problem or a uh, block server connectivity. You click it a second time and it'll show open. If you click it a second time, it doesn't show open. Check your router's UPnP table. That can be causing a problem. Another thing that I know can cause a problem that happened to me a long time ago is there is a lot of tutorials out there for Windows 10 spying. Windows 10 collects information on you and whatever, and there are lots of tutorials, like I said, that can really break everything when it comes to the Xbox side of stuff. This happened to me, and the only way I could fix it was a complete Windows reinstall. So if you've ever used any anti-spying tools or just walkthroughs or anything, that could be causing you issues that uh, I, I could never figure out how to fix and believe me I tried the only thing that worked was the Windows 10 reinstall if all of those things don't work and you're like man none of this stuff is working I, I can't get it to work what else can I do the next thing you can try is you can come back over to your settings menu again you can come over here to your internet and network and network and internet and right here at the very bottom is a network reset 
this sometimes works. This is a, another thing that you can do that if those commands didn't work and you're like, it, nothing's working, seems to be just kind of bored. Try the network reset. I've had Windows 10 after an update completely bork itself. I tried my normal commands that you have seen here. That didn't work. I network reset and rebooted, did all the stuff that I just showed in this video, and then everything worked. So that should get you open that on your Windows 10 PC for the Xbox app and Xbox Play Anywhere uh, games. If you have any trouble, please comment down below and I will do my best to help you out. If you are new around here, please take the time to subscribe. If this video was helpful, please take the time to hit that like button. Again, if you need any help, comment down below. Check out all my links in the description box. And as always, take her easy.